साथियों फ्रेंड्स इन माय लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस थायराइड सीरीज वी आर डिस्कसिंग दैट थायराइड इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गन ऑफ यू ऑफ आवर बॉडी बिकॉज दिस डिसाइड्स हाउ our food is converted to body essentials and energy both either body essentials are more or energy is more but this should be in a balanced condition if one is more and other is less then it will be unbalanced here we are going to discuss about the disbalance of thyroid gland we know that our hypothalamus which controls our body organs that is responsible for the proper control of thyroid glands also how hypothalamus is controlling thyroid gland hypothalamus is secreting trh hormone that controls pituitary and pituitary releases tss thyroid stimulating hormone that regulate thyroid gland and thyroid gland releases t4 and t3 all these things we have discussed already here i want to say to you that there are one more thing free t3 and free t4 t3 is a most active thyroid hormone 15% is released by thyroid gland while 85% of the t3 is from the converted part of t4 t4 is converted into t3 by this 85% 3 3 is the converted t4 and this t3 is the most active hormones this react with the cell body cells and t3 is bound with the protein and this form the bound with protein called thyroxine binding globulin that is tbg in this way protein is metabolized plus the t3 burn fat and produce heat so in this way this thyroid hormones they are affecting our muscle control development and also influences the heart function our brain function even digestive functions and bone maintenance both so it means this is the most important most important hormone rather controlling everything in the body now this this balance what we call it what it will do if thyroid hormone is disbalanced then we will have problem normally the parameters are like this if tsh thyroid stimulating hormone is in the range of 0.4 to 4 milli unit per liter of blood then it is considered to be in the normal range but if you see in the ideal range it should be between 0.5 and 2 milli unit per liter if tsh is more our t4 will be less why tsh is more the t4 is giving signal to the pituitary gland that produce more t4 because t4 is less so if tsh is higher it indicates 
that T4 thyroxine is less. It means hypothyroid is there. So if TSH is greater than 2.5, that is considered that we are suffering from the hypothyroid. The normal range for T4 is 5 to 11. As I have told that free T4 should be in the range of 0.8 to 1.8 nanogram per deciliter. Similarly, T3 should be in the range of 100 to 200 nanogram per deciliter. This is the normal range. It means measurement of T3 is also important as T3 is important. But normally, when testing is done or done, then they are giving the range of T3 and T4. And with this only, treatment is possible and is being done. But if you want to know the perfect test, then both FT3, T3 and FT4, T4, these are the important parameters. We were discussing regarding FT3. There is one more parameter that is called RT3. Some part of T4 is converted to RT3, reverse T3. So these are also the inactive hormone, inactive part of T3. So this reduces the active T3. Because of that also, hypothyroid can occur. Why RT3 increases because of stress, trauma, if you are taking low calorie diet, if there is some inflammation, cytokines, etc., or toxins are there, or infection in the body. Then also, there will be increase in RT3 and active T3 will reduce. And if you see cellular sensitivity to RT3 and T3 can be improved if we are taking proper amount of vitamin A and we are doing exercise and also we, are, we have included zinc and amaldite. So this will improve T3 as well as RT3. What are the factors that is responsible of production of hormones? These are the proper nutrients, iron, iodine, zinc, selenium, etc. So if you see that the factors that inhibit production of hormones, these are the infection, trauma, radiation, different type of medications, if we are taking fluoride, toxins, pesticides, mercury, or cadmium. These are affecting, rather inhibiting the production of hormones. So, for proper working of thyroid, these factors should be reduced as, well, as far as possible. Now you see, what will happen in the hypothyroid? As we have discussed in the beginning, that food nutrients make body essential and energy. If they make more body essential and less energy, then there will be hypothyroid, resulting into exhaustion. You will feel always exhausted because energy is less. So you start getting gaining weight because body essentials are more. Your skin will be dry, you will be feeling cold, there will be constipation, lack of appetite, and there will be a forgetfulness. You are just forgetting something. Always you are feeling that I have forgot something. Similarly, if your energy is more, 
then and food nutrients will make less body essentials than what will happen you will lose weight there will be excess energy what will happen you will be losing weight there will be tremor in the body your heart palpitations will be high there may be swelling in neck your palm may be of red color hair loss it is both in both cases in hypothyroid as well as in hyperthyroid there will be hair loss if you see there is a thyroid disbalance there will be loss of hair that you can measure you can visible from eyebrow linings if they are thinning eyebrows it means there are some problems in hyperthyroid there could be retraction of eyelids as if you are staring somebody because there will be more energy so heat intolerance will be more so if in this way you see that thyroxin basically it goes to mitochondria and produce heat and that maintains the temperature of the body to 37 degree centigrade so in case you are suffering from hypothyroid me thyroxin is less then heat production will be less and you will be feeling cold and there will be less of it heat generated in the body then naturally maintain temperature will be slow similarly if you see the cholesterol the processing of cholesterol by the liver will be slow so more cholesterol because cholesterol is required by the cell plasma so liver is making cholesterol it is circulating in the blood then this is the duty of the thyroid hormones t4 and t3 that all the cholesterols which are in the circulation that goes back to the liver in case it does not go back to liver then there will be accumulation of cholesterol in the blood pipelines blood arteries there could be clogging similarly the triglyceride will also be accumulated in the blood so if triglyceride and cholesterol are coming it means there could be a problem in thyroid also in this way you see the hypothyroid and hyperthyroid these are both the symptom of disbalance of thyroid gland so we require treatment now what treatment is required that we will discuss in our next video